This is Lothar Tuppen, and you're listening to the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. This episode of Bells in the Battery was released September 9th, 2011. Prisoner number 176671, Beagle, step forward to the white line. Yeah, here I am, God. You are to be released today. Here is your clothes, and here are your personal belongings you had on you when you were incarcerated. It had better all be there, too. One wallet with $37 inside. Yeah, give me. One map of a large vault. I really need that. One jackhammer. Oh, boy. One bazooka. Yeah. And 20 pounds of TNT. All right, there. Wait a minute. I had 21 pounds when I came here. You used a pound of it in your last escape attempt. Oh, yeah. I remember that like it was yesterday. It, it was, was yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. Okay, you are now hereby released unto society, hopefully rehabilitated. Now get out of here. <laughs> All right, see you later, suckers. I got a date with a money bin. Here I come. Prisoner number Timbuk223 Skidoo. Montworth, step up to the white line. All righty, hi there. <laughs> to the white line, Montworth. Oh, uh, isn't this the white line? No, that's more like eggshell. Oh, sorry. How about this one? That's ivory. Have you no fashion sense? All right, all right. It's this one, then. That's off-white. No, I'm on-white. No, you're on-off-white. Get off-off-white to get on-white. So it's this one, then. That one's purple, but it'll do. I like purple. Montworth, you are being released today, and we are now returning to you the items that you had on your poison when you were incarcerated. I sure hope the sardines do. Go bad. One puffy ten of sardines. Oh, nuts. One dog-eared copy of How to Make Friends and Influence People. Autograph. One lucky four-leaf clover. You can keep that. One wallet with an IOU for thirty-seven dollars inside. Oh yeah, I lent some money to Beagle. Uh, you guys seen him? Montworth, you are hereby released. I understand there is somebody across the road waiting to pick you up. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, by the way, didn't I have some clothes when I came in here? Yes, but we decided that the prison clothes you're wearing would look better than the suit you came in with. Oh, well, thank. Bud, we're going to have to charge you for the suit, sorry. That's okay, how much is it? $37. Here's an IOU. Now get out of here. Okay, thank you. All right, let's go. Open up the door. Thank you. Uh, as we walk down this hall, I think of how lonely I've been in that cell. I tend to talk to myself a lot. Kind of like I'm doing right now. Huh? This is the last door. The last door to freedom. Here I am. Outside the prison, looking across the dusty road to the person who's standing there waiting for me. Mr. Bell, is that you over there? Yes, Brad, I came to pick you up. Okay, you're right there. Since you got this podcast, Bell's in the bed, free is back. It seems like forever, but at last, Belzinda Batfree is back. You'd think that after all this time, they'd do better shtick than ripping off the Blues Brothers flick. But Bell's a hard-headed, a hard-headed podcasting hack. I appreciate you coming to pick me up, Miss. What? what? I okay. really appreciate you I, coming to pick me up. I can't hear you, Brad. Why? Can you turn off that radio? Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, hold on. Oh, boy, that's better. Well, anyway, thank you for picking me up, Mr. Brown. Glad to do it for any member of the old gang there, Brad. Say, where's the, uh, the Batfree RV? Times were tough, Brad. I had to sell the RV. Sorry, but look, I got another vehicle. You expect this to replace the Batfree RV? Look at it, Brad. I got it at a cop auction. It's a great vehicle. Yes, Mr. Bell, I do enjoy the black and white motif of it, but it is a Segway, after all. I know, Brad, but these things are great. It's two wheels, you stand on it, you got the little handlebars. But, Mr. Bell, how are both of us going to ride this thing? Well, I did mention the handlebars didn't I? 
You're joking. Climb aboard. All right, all right. Yeah. Get up yeah, here. Get right oh, there. Balance. Okay, yeah. Stand oh, here. Oh, this is okay. rather uncomfortable. And I'm going to uh, lean a little forward. That makes it go forward. Uh-huh. Uh, leaning back makes it go back, uh-huh. uh, I think. How long have you had this thing, Mr. Bell? Well, close to two or three hours. How close? 30 minutes. That's what I thought. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, we're going backwards, Mr. Bell. I know, I know, I know. Let me, let me try this. Whoa, 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 whoa,
Dogs, be put down. Put down? Euthanasia. Not geezers in Japan? Not dang sleep. They watch old movies? Brad, he's telling us that if we don't raise enough money, all these dogs are going to... Get a shave. Yes, Brad, they're going to get a shave. A very close shave. Go raise money. Brad, we must do as the dog says. You don't mean... Yes. We're on a mission from dog. And so they went that day on a mission. They were walking down the street, pondering their next move. Ponder, ponder, ponder. Little realizing that nearby a woman sat in a car with a bazooka in her lap. She was picking up this bazooka, aiming the bazooka, while chewing on bazooka bubblegum. What are you doing? I like saying bazooka. Just... Get on with it. She leveled the bazooka and... Bazooka! I don't think that was necessary. I was just making the sound effect. You don't need to do that. Okay. Mr. Bell, a bazooka rocket! Yipe! <laughs> bazooka! That is kind of funny. It's coming right toward us! we better... Cut! Cut? Who are you? Why did you say cut in the middle of our scene here? I'm from the podcast Cash Union, see? The what to hate a who what? The PCU, see? The PCUC? No, the PCU, see? The PCUC. Mr. Bell, I think he's saying the PCU, see? That's what I'm saying. Ma, it's just three letters. The PCU, see? No, yeah, see? Wait, 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 wait. It's P... C-U. C-U-P. No, oh, no. Ma, it doesn't matter, see? The point is that Mr. Motworth here, ma, is a member of the union. Union? Ma, union rules require a stunt dog. For a dangerous scene. Wah. Dangerous scene? Bazooka! Bazooka. Wah. Oh, right. Say, that is fun to say. Bazooka! All right, all right. So I'll get him a stunt double. Wah, you better, say. But what about me? You can't be my stunt double, Mr. Bell. You're already in the scene. No, 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 no. I mean, don't I get a stunt double? Oh, no, Mr. Bell. Your management. But... Bring in the stunt double. Wah. Wow, Brad, he looks just like you. Yeah, these people look high and low to get an exact match. Ah, say hello to your stunt double, Brad. Ah. Hi, stunt double. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it's good to be here. <laughs> uh, Brad, he doesn't sound like well, you. Look how handsome he is. Those lovely eyes. That tousled <laughs> hair. <laughs> Stop. But, Brad, this is an audio show. I'm not following, Mr. Bell. Ma, start double in place. Ma, get ready to resume the scene. Ma. But, but, whoa, whoa, but, I'm off the set, off the set. Okay, I, I'm ready. <laughs> and action. <laughs> uh, oh, look, it's a bazooka. Rocket. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, yes, and it's... That is fun to say. Bazooka, bazooka, bazooka. Ah, caught, caught. Excellent. Uh, you did a great oh, job there. You ah. tell me they're, they're a big boo. Ah, ah, okay, Brad, back on set. Coming, coming. Bazooka, 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 bazooka. Okay, all ready. And action. Gee, Mr. Bell, it seems like somebody... Is gunning for us. You mean bazooka-ing for us. Yes. Bazooka. But we still... Bazooka. Shouldn't let this deter us. From our mission. And that mission would be... The dog's bread. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. So what I think we need to do now is... What if she's pretty? What? Who? The lady that's gunning for us. How do you know it's a lady? The narrator said so. Brad, we're not supposed to hear what the narrator... Well, he's standing right here. He's eating a donut. With sprinkles. All right, all right. What if she's pretty, Mr. Bell? What if I walked up to her and talked to her? What would that be like? Hi, my name is Brad Lotworth. <laughs> You're pretty. <laughs> oh, yes, that would be nice. Brad, put down the harp. We've got work to do. Work, Mr. Bell? Yes, Brad. We're getting the band back together. What band would this be, Mr. Bell? You know, the Bad Free Folk. Well, it's not really a band. Well, not you know. a musical band, but a band of people. Well, I suppose in that respect it might work. Fine, thank you. Now, who should we find first? Well, I say anybody but Arnie. Arnie, you say? Well, I said Arnie, but Then I... we have a quest. Oh, boy. We, we are going to find Arnie. We are going to find Arnie. Arnie. Yes, we are. This is no Blarney. We'll bribe him with some chili con carne. Oh. Dog. We'll sit down and watch that movie, Marnie. And that other movie that said in Narnie. And uh, we'll say, join us, Arnie Darnie. Perhaps we'll fly him to kill Arnie. Arnie. 
You're planning to kill Arnie? No, 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 no. That's, that's a place. Must be a happy place. Ah. I gotta finish this thing up, okay? Oh, okay. Where are we? We're coming up to the big finish. When is it? Here it comes. Okay. Any second now. We are on a mission from 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 I win. You've been listening to Bells in the Bat Free, brought to you by John Bell. What's that supposed to mean? It's me, Brad, John Bell. I'm sponsoring Bells in the Bat Free. So you're going to do some sort of funny fake commercial here, is that it? No, no, no. This is a real commercial for a real business. Uh-huh. Can't wait to hear this. I'm just going to sit over here and uh, listen in, Mr. Bell. Fine. Good luck. All right. Uh, this is John Bell, and I've begun my own business where I can voice write and produce any sort of audio that you might need own a business let me do your radio commercials i can write them or i can voice them or i can produce them or i can do two out of three or i could do all three Boring. all right thank you brad Glad I can help. if you listen to the show you know what i can do you know how weird my mind is Weird's not the word for stop it. helping brad you got it so write to me at jbellvoice at gmail.com. How oh, about a sample? Fair enough. Here's a commercial. Real commercial. This is a real commercial. The new Hickory Tech phone books are out, and there are many things you can now do with your old Hickory Tech phone book, like use it as a doorstop, a notepad, or just stack them up till they fall down. Wee. Or you can do the sensible thing and recycle your old phone book. Put them out on the curb separate from your other recyclables. Take them to Hickory Tech or find recycling centers in, get this, your new Hickory Hickory Tech phone book on page 44. Recycle your old Hickory Tech phone book. They make terrible birdcage liners anyway. Just wrapping up. John Bell and my business, which I just can't tell you the name of quite yet. But you can contact me at jbellvoice at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. See you next time. This is only they know what I mean. Copyright 2011 by John Bell. Psst, by the way, my business wound up being called John Bell Creative LLC. That's the best you can come up with? Oh, be quiet. Hello, I'm John Bell of Bells in the Battery, along with my associates, Arnie Kunch. I can introduce myself. Thank you very much. All right. Hi, I'm Arnie Kunch. Fine. That's it. That's it. And also, do you want me to introduce you, Brad? Well, of course, Mr. Bell. That's your job as host. Thank you, Brad. And I'd like to introduce Brad. Hold it. What? Here's your script. Script? <laughs> well, you gotta know what to say. All right. <clears throat> and introducing Brad Montworth, a salesman, incomparable public relations expert, and, of course, unrivaled attorney at law. No, come on, you know how to say it, Mr. Bell. Unrivaled attorney, attorney at, at law. law. Oh, Mr. Bell, you shouldn't say those things. You make me blush. Can I do my introduction over again? No. We're here for an important reason. Very important. Indeed. If you think you deserve significant financial compensation, call Brad Motworth, attorney, attorney at, at law. law. Oh, boy. At 555 No, 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 no. We're here to remind everybody to take steps to avoid the coronavirus. Yeah, don't catch it. Because there's no one you can sue. Wash your hands thoroughly and keep social distancing. What? Social distancing. One more time. Stay about six feet away from everybody else. Right, very good. Oh, I gotta wash my hands thoroughly. I don't want to get me this corona. Ooh, keep your distance now. Socially. I want to keep feeling fine, corona. Never gonna stop getting squirts from my Purell. I'm always gonna buy all the toilet paper. Don't get no closer, huh? Beat it, huh? Far enough where I can't see your eyes, Corona. An illness history is not for me. Uh uh. Don't want to try your COVID on for size, Corona. Never gonna touch. Stay away. My epidermis never wants to be close to where that nasty germ is. Bye, 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 bye. Woo. Bye, Corona. Fly, Corona. Captain, bye, Corona. What? Pumpkin pie, Corona. Now wait a minute. Goodbye, Corona. Good riddance.